Hello there, I'm Tim and he's John and this is How to Murder Blocks, a Minecraft adventure. Hello everybody. Watch your... Can I make an observation? Yeah. You know that pipe which was running along this I wall? I love your observation. Yeah, I got rid of it because it was in the way of the wall. Yeah. Now we've got this fantastic fluid laser system which is beaming liquid along a path of photons. Don't, I don't get... Yeah, it's, which it's, is only it's slightly in the eye line of what the, we're it's, just about yeah. to describe. Well, we can stick extra stuff on the wall now. Which is what we couldn't do with the other pipe, but now this pipe's directly an eye line. Yeah, hey ho. <laughs> uh, anyway, yes, look, we have a. It got better. <laughs> anyway, yes, we made a wall of post-it notes. Yes, yes, this is, this is Scrum methodology in an agile development framework um, going on or something. I, I don't know. We, I can kill this you. This is if a you retrospective. Want. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyway, uh, we've decided that, that we missed our, our to-do list from the old regrowth server. And we're continually forgetting what to do. It's so, yeah. Uh, here we are. So it doesn't have the same the same. What was that other signboard? That 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 one we were using with multi lines and stuff isn't in here. So we're using vanilla ones. Well, these are made out of gold because they look like post it notes, and we got gold coming out of our ears. Interestingly enough, gold post it notes cost slightly less than real post it notes. <laughs> Which is why every company uses up off brand post it notes. Right. No one ever uses. Yeah, their the, these are not post it notes. These are these are sticky notelets, generic brackets gold. Anyway, yes, yeah, so we've written a load of things on them. I'm going to go through them. I'll take uh, one from the top row, please. Uh, Supreme Man Armour. Supreme Man Armour. I'm working on that. That's a really dull process of accumulating loads of that Inferium dust uh, and then just kind of tear combining it up and up and up and up and eventually turning it into a piece of armour. I've done the chest and the helmet, I think. Still waiting for the recovery on the resources for the other bits. It's not terribly interesting, but we got Nether Stars on demand now, so that'll, that'll happen. Yeah, I'm not quite on demand. I still haven't made well, the killing. You haven't made the automated bit, no. have you? No, they're making, yes. They're killing our I could do with a few more. I could probably need another three to Oh, they're in that. the system. Okay, fair enough. I've, I've been killing stuff. Okay, <laughs> we got drills. So, drills? I need to do that. That is... A, what, what's, what is drills? It's a handheld drill thing. It's really quite hand handy. Drill. But okay. it, again, it needs... We, we're in a world where there's no rock or anything that, except that we've put there ourselves. It needs to know the stars again, so... Why do we need to drill? There's no, there's no like, mountains to drill into or anything. Ow. Oh, I see. Hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat weapon, yeah. yes. Uh, update laser power grid. You've done a bit of that. I have, yes. Um, I can show out here. You know, some of these some of these laser points have got purple st purple studs around the base of the laser thing. That's the extreme laser transfer relay. Basically, I've just um, increased the throughput. We can get more stuff along each of these beams in terms of energy. Could you come out here a minute, please? We're probably going to need... Super stupid cryo. Where are you? Out here. Oh, we gone on our way now. I can't see where you are. Are you even on the server? Yeah. Yeah, there you are. I can't help but notice, hmm? and it's a subtle change, well, uh, we have a second right. canal. Oh, oh, yeah. I got a bit bored during, during uh, a weekend and added another tier of canal. I think that's quite good. I'm going for sort of hanging gardens. I've given up on the Citadel station idea now, so we're going for more of a hanging gardens type of affair, affair here. Did you put these lily pads down? I did. I made them. Uh, it's not entirely useless, though. If you come zooming around the... My God, that was a lot of work. Um, come zooming around the outside. Here we go. Some of these are water mills, like what we got in the middle of the garden there, which I want gotten rid of because they're cluttering up my, my nature forest. Those also work up on here. Are the circuit with these. So I'm generating 32, uh, 32 out of 157. Uh, it's my grid power at the moment. Yours is probably different because they don't share or something. Yeah. So what I've done is I've left this half running this way. If you see these polished stones, if you just replace them with your own water mills when you get a moment, you'll be able to build up your own grid power and then you'll still be able to fly too. And then, once that's all done, um, we can knock out the ones in the middle of the park, put them back in storage, and then I can build another tier and another tier and up to the moon. It's going to be brilliant. Um, yeah, so they are generating grid power, which is yet another kind of electricity that certain mods use. In particular, our little flying ring things, angel rings. Uh, the rest of all these items are a bit boring. Mm. Apart from this one, battery. Oh, you're on the uh, back on the wall, right? The battery, yes. This is a draconic evolution or something. It's a mod we've not really done anything with before. Oh yeah, you, you, we were mucking around with this fusion core thing, and you had no idea what you were doing with it. And it turns out we haven't got hardly any of the materials we need. Oh, to I used it a bit actually. Anyway, yeah, you made a thing. Yeah. 
I made. Oh yeah. So oh, I'm super power. I ran out of arrows. <laughs> Good. Because I know you were just about to test that on me. Oh, yeah, you did try it on me, didn't you? And it does about the same as a normal bow. Yeah, I've not upgraded it yet. Probably have lots of upgrade, but our potential. God, I'm going to eat an egg salad now. Okay, so. so. Right, I'm going to so make. think somewhere to put a massive amount of electricity would be good? Uh, yes, let's go down. Uh, oh, I've upgraded our power gen a bit, but not by much. I just. Did a bit of. We're still on those lava generators. Yeah, we need to do something like that. We should be capturing the death throes of dying supernovas and putting them in bottles at this stage, frankly. Anyway, if we look down here and this spindly core thing, which is no longer needed. The spindly core. I, I was quite proud of it. It only got a bit monstery while I was building it. But yes, we can we can take some of the spindly core and repurpose it for something or other. If I put one of them there, do we need could you do anymore? me a favour? Mm. Actually, no, I could do it, couldn't I? We don't need Project Icarus, but Project Icarus is a pain in the ass to get rid of, so... <laughs> it's made of obsidian. It's going to take a bit of digging. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. What's that? Energy core, draconic evolution. Yes, yeah, so a draconic evolution, energy core. Okay. So if we take out some of this spindle... And then I was to go. Presumably, you've got a guide to do this somewhere. Oh, you, I'm improvising. Knowledge. Okay. <laughs> I believe this is some kind of vast multi block structure that can be upgraded as we go. I don't have precise amounts of things in my inventory. <laughs> Making it seem so spontaneous. So you're carefully placing some stuff. Yeah. Oh, oh look at that. Shiny. Hello, he's gone. I've crashed. <laughs> keep talking. I'm, you can keep talking. We're not using Minecraft's integrated voice chat. That's true. Because it doesn't have any, I don't think. Okay. Yeah, so we've got a clear space in the middle. We're going to build it on centre with the spindle itself. And it'll look a bit more aesthetically pleasing, which is very important to me. It's vitally important. It's the most important thing. World Shaper Sextant would have been useful here. Why? Because it lets me measure distances. Well, if, you, if you want to um, expand out that dirt I was doing to the same lengths. Mm. Oh, I can't click on the thing. Oh, I know. Make some more dirt. Right. So we're going four way symmetrical to here. Okay. And mm, that's quite that's quite that's quite large. Yeah, I believe it's larger than it needs to be. Ultimately we are gonna build the biggest, of course, because why not? Go large or go home. Exactly. Okay, yep. Well, these widgets you just placed on the end appear to be light sources, which is handy. It's <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a common problem we have. I get wrapped up in the building, but the monsters really don't take a lot of time. You can take out the dirt on the two I've put down already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's get the measurements all sorted. There we go. Yes, yeah, so if you stick the other when when you reappear, um, yeah, you if I reappear, <laughs> stick those your other widgets on the ends of those. And that will be our tier one power. Does it need to connect to anything? Yes. Okay. There's going to be an input and an output. Presumably we have to get the energy in and out of it somewhere. Yeah, we do. It's not too hard. Mm -hmm. I don't think. 
the most important thing is going to be taking all of the output from our energy generation and putting it into it and then pulling out of it for use so there's nowhere short circuiting or uh, shortcutting the uh usage gotcha we did something similar on the last one i can't remember oh, that massive induction cell yeah that mod isn't in here is no it? no so we're doing it with something different this time yeah and then the Shane, that had so much potential that <laughs> enormous box well, th this is just maximum extent. This, this, no this is the close. same thing. This is just a massive, enormous box. <clears throat> Guess what? I'm back. Mm -hmm. Hey. Okay. So yeah, if you stick them on the outside of the two dirt blocks with the uh, torches, that should be there. Mm, what am I going to build the exterior superstructure out of? Some fantastic material. I just fell an awful long way. Okay, so if I put one there, yep, get rid of that. And then one on the outside over there as well. Then if I was to click on here and do activate, we now have a tiny little battery. Hooray. Do we want a larger battery? Because this doesn't hold that much. Oh, I think we probably want the largest battery we could possibly imagine. Oh, okay. Uh, we need advanced stabilizers for uh, tier five. Five? <laughs> have we successfully built a tier one yet? Oh, let's have lead, I think. Lead? Hmm. It's got a pleasing dull sheen. Or silver? Yeah, silver. Oh, I can't decide now. Uh, hmm. I haven't got much nickel. Uh, aluminium? No. Electrum? Steel? Better keep the steel. We'll do silver. Wow. <laughs> this is fantastic. What are you doing? This is brilliant. You should come down and have a look at this. Oh, wow, look at this. Well, that's... Ooh, ah. Can you see those blocks? They sort of go in and out and come out. Yeah. And is that a building guide? Yeah. Oh, wow. Fantastic. That's really clever. Tier 4 energy core stabilizers valid. Core invalid. Error. Uh, oh, God. Buildy, buildy, buildy. Yeah, I think tier four is the best we can do for now. Well, I'm sure that'll, that'll do. I mean, we haven't got that much that uses energy, really, have we? Oh, that's what all that weird altar stuff you were mucking about with last time. That had some terrifying numbers when it comes to... Uh... Yeah, it really does. So the recipes it was asking about. Takes a little while to pick these blocks up again. Try not to drop anything, we are in the sky. Uh, I'm aware of that. This is remarkably straightforward. <laughs> That's the sort of thing I say that people tell me off. Along with what could possibly go wrong and, you know, other classics. Luckily I'm not superstitious. Mm. Well, that's what I try and make 
maintain, but things invariably do immediately go wrong catastrophically directly after I've said stuff like that, so I begin to wonder. Well, oh. ah! Was that me? Yes. I might have turned it on by mistake. No, I didn't. All right. Look at that! No, no. Do you want me to give you some bad news? What? I need to make those bigger. Why bigger? Because they're going to. You placed these at the correct width apart, didn't you? No, no. For the expanded. The, the, this frame you're building around them yeah. is getting in the way of bits which we're going to have to build later. <sighs> All right, I'll just watch. Just saying. I've got no idea what you're doing. You, you haven't got any idea what you're doing. Shall I make it bigger? What, 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 what more do you got to do with this? What, what's it, clue me in on the expansion plans, and maybe I can design around it. Uh, well, these need to be advanced ones, which involves building around the edge of them. So I think actually you might be okay just getting rid of the blocks directly against them, but I don't actually know. Oh yeah, we can do that. Yeah, we'll add to it all when the time comes. So, what's that doing now? Apart from spinning and glowing, it's very hypnotic. What if I fly into it? Bad things? Probably. Mm, I'll try and resist the temptation. Do you have any more of your advanced um, laserings? Oh, I don't know. Might be some in the system. I think I probably used quite a lot. Because I had to do quite a lot of empowering weird Inori crystals and things to get those made. I may have bored before I could finish that system, I can't remember. Because you could perhaps stop building the structure and help make the thing work. I didn't want to get in your way. Uh, not, one, but not accidentally, anyway. Right, I'm going to make the thing work. How do I make the thing work? <clears throat> Energy laser relay. Uh, okay. Uh, you want the stupidly large version, don't you? I Where am. Are you going? Go away. I'll do it. Yeah, uh, we need two of those, please. Mm. It's a very pretty little storage. It's not very big, though. Grey dye, button, cobblestone. <clears throat> yes, we still haven't fully automated this nonsense, have we? Uh, crystal. Uh, crystal, I found out how to play again. Crystals, there we go. Right, minority crystals. Falling out do, the sky. Do, 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 do. Are you failing to fly? Good news. We can hmm. use those lasers to charge it. So you've got just two normal ones? I've just put one normal one on just to see, make sure it did work. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. So, 64 snowballs. Yeah. Right, die. Uh, Unfortunately, this is only 9.88 billion that it can oh, hold, so. Little left to do for now. Yeah, I think we, we'd have to settle for that for now. Snowball, yeah, more of that. Good. Um, and we will need awakened draconium for the next step, unfortunately. Do we not work out how to do that in the end, did we? Yep. It's easy. <laughs> okay. Well, I've got a bad feeling. That's lucky, because so do I. <coughs> Cobblestone. 
because this bizarre material. Right. Oh, you dismantled my empowering lasers. Oh, man, I, I, I took the lasers off the top. Cause... Bloody menace you are. Well, we've both done something you really silly. You and uh... Oh, that, yeah. I'd upgraded something to use as much power as we could generate. And, and then I supplied it with as much power as there was in the world. Yeah. Mm. Oh, we can just take it off the nearest relay. That's why I added it. Seems to be working. Yeah, I know. It's because they've got stored power. I'm going to run out unless I charge it all there. Putting the good ones on these will speed it up dramatically, by the way. No, the process itself isn't happening fast enough to drain them. These these are keeping up. Just, are they? Yeah. I thought these were... Have a look at their internal tank. Ah, you're right. I, I wonder if the different crystals need different amounts oh, no. of power, it, perhaps, It's this one that uh, will that run one, as fast yeah. as you can This pass, is yeah. a bloody menace, this thing, and we haven't worked out how to do it. Oh, no, I, I have. <laughs> I, I'm just politely ignoring it. Uh -huh. Uh, 14 of those make a start. How many of these? Are there? Just two. two really? yeah, okay. uh, maybe three, because you're going to have to modify your input point onto the network out of the generator room. Yeah. Because of course we want to have everything going out of the generation, into the battery, then out of the battery, into the system. We could probably get rid of all those little batteries then. Yeah, we could probably. Once this works. Because now we have a battery. Right, so that's enough to make some of those. Seven of those, right. Next, we need the, di the, the flashy diamond. The flashy diamond is clay, 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 light blue dye. This is putting 900 RF a tick in, which I imagine is around the limit of this energy laser. I can't remember what the specs are for the... Uh, it's in the Actually Editions book, if you can find the manual for Actually Editions. It's on the bookcase somewhere. Oh, okay, we've got loads in the inventory. Um, yeah, that's, that, that talks about the lasers. And the uh, Extreme Energy Laser Relay specs are probably in there. Diamond... Di no, diamond. 1,000, 10,000 and a million. A million? No, 100,000, sorry. 100,000 on the advanced laser. I believe so. We can always use more than one yeah. chain. Of We're not generating 100,000 a tick here. No, not yet. And <laughs> we will go uh, to a better system after a while anyway. Uh. These are only a temporary one until we get all the draconium stuff going, I believe. So what I've done here is just use the relays the uh, input-output pipe things to um, automate this, in theory. In theory, why is it not happening? There's one on there. The right recipe? Clay, clay, block of clay, light blue dye. <coughs> Most importantly, this actually gives us a generation number that we can use. And we'll be able to see our net and uh, gain or loss. Oh, that's always useful, yeah. Because at the moment, yeah, I, I didn't know that we were burning for all our power last time. So. Oh, that's great, die. Hang on. There we go. The bit's left over the, the other run. Right. Just let that run for a bit. Another one of those, didn't I? Uh, so, yeah, I don't know how to wire up what I've done over there onto the main demand crafting system, but at the moment it's. Nah. Enough to generate. I think there's a better way. And all you'd have to do is put a recipe in that box underneath. Oh, right. Oh, well, I'll leave that side of it to you. So keeping up? Yeah, the power's keeping up. I'm 
no problem. But this solution isn't scalable, of course. Well, it's doing them. It's doing them automatically. As long as you keep the box stuffed with as many you want doing, it will run through them. But yeah, but uh, yeah. it won't scale to many, many recipes. Oh, I see. Yeah. I'll run out of white lists and filter. Stuff. And there'll be some which just clash. So. Yeah, you have to manually supervise what's going on in the box there. It'll do. It's much easier than running around putting them on one at a time by hand. Let's put it that way. Aren't you making loads, aren't you? Well, they're just useful things to have. There you go. I've made seven. So seven what? Seven mega lasers. Okay, so if you come down here. Yeah. Oh, flying. Yep. Oh, what's these? These are ins and outs. Can you tell which is which? Uh. Not easily. One's silver and one's copper. Have a look at the arrows. Oh yeah. Are those arrows? Yeah. It's a bit busy. It's very busy. Some sort of some sort of crazy rug. Are these things expensive to build because I might just use them as construction materials. They're not too bad actually. <laughs> so, uh, right. Nice Make relay on, on both. Don't cross the streams. Okay, and then. Laser wrench. So, how do we... So, there this? was that one point, I think you had done something over the other corner, of course. This one over here, I think, is the main entry mm. onto the system, isn't it? No. No, they all go up on... Uh, yeah, that side, I think. I don't know. Yes. So that yeah, one... That's, draining, that's drawing out of the batteries. Yeah. So if that one mm. just went down to the input... Okay... the input. You need to break all those other connections as well. Which one's the input? The one with the arrows pointing in. I'll wait for the server to grind to a halt. Okay, that's putting 2.46. That's putting a large amount of power in per tick. Okay, now the problem is there's also ones coming off here which should no longer be coming off here. Yeah, hang on. So, if we take that off, um, hmm. <laughs> I'm going through the floor. Oh, that's no good. All right, so everything needs to come out of this one. And no, this isn't the way to do it, is it? I don't know what I've done. What have you done? Right, so your generation is coming to a point there, at the end of there. Yep. But it could quite easily have come off this end instead, no? It could have, yes. All right. Maybe. And do you need all these batteries anyway? Uh, probably not anymore. Do you want it below the battery? So if you were to stick it on this end here. Well, there's going to be more power generation, but yeah. Oh, I see. For uh, um. <laughs> If we do this wrong, we're going to wreck everything. Probably you've used all the corners. Yeah, I know. I'm going to take stuff off the corners once. Let's see. Uh... Why not mm -hmm. put it in the centre of the room? Oh yeah. Why have we even got ladders anymore? Good point. We can matter transport through walls. Um, right. So that one, this side is the input. No, look what you done. We've got rid of the ladder. Yeah. <laughs> I need to put a block back there so I can stick the laser to it. Right, that side and that side. Have you lined them up with the bits below? Yes. Ugh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, didn't teleport on the right floor. Hang on. Right. How do, you, how do you disconnect a laser? I don't know actually. You hit it with a hammer. Mm. Crude. Right. So we need to connect that one to. Mm, hang on. Stick one on there. Connect that to here. Then wreck that one. <laughs> oh, love wiring. Right. Some things may be unpowered at the moment. Mm. Yep. 
That's on purpose. So then we go... Well, in fact, it goes on the ceiling there. Connects back to these. Can you disconnect that pipe off the end? Yeah, I'm just doing it. Oh, well, so that needs to be isolated. That's good. Mind you, Ed. Right. That one goes back to here. Right. There, 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 there. In theory, that one can go to here. And then I just need to... <laughs> okay, I've disconnected that power line going up. Yeah, yeah, I suspect that's about to kill the AE system. There we go. Right. There we go. That should be taking from these batteries are all at zero. Oh, there's one still draining. Yeah. Generators are still passing through the batteries, keeping to zero. That then goes down into the core. How's that looking down there? Uh, it's going up still. It should be accumulating because we're not drawing from the overall system. And that should be back onto the main system, which is powering the ring and all the existing laser work. Yeah. There's a large amount of stuff that's no longer powered, though, I believe. No, 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 everything should be powered. Well, including the A system. I think so. Because I, I've broken the block that was oh, the... Oh, what have you done? Oh, for goodness sake, right, look. We see these power lines going up through this battery. Uh, where, oh. Oh, you were using ordinary cabling for some of it. Yeah. Ah, uh, that might be a problem then. So that battery goes up into here, and that powers all this stuff. But we can get around that by putting we one going into this cable here. Do we? Yeah. We should stick a extreme laser relay. I don't have an extreme on laser relay. On the input relay. point here. There you go. Just throw one at you. You stick that where you want to add the power back in. Did I pick up the extreme one? I don't know, I threw it, eh? Oh, yeah. Sort of go pop. It's oh, God, that server's grinding. Ah, frame rate problems. Yeah, whatever you've done is bad. Yeah, yeah. The, oh, wow. I can see the crafting thing going on and off. I will solve it. So you should be able to just attach that to any, any of the main... Uh, I fell. Yeah, it's quite difficult to manoeuvre when the server's doing the power. Any second rate. now, that should all come back to life. Yeah, there you go. Should, yeah, running off of that should work. Okay. Unless, unless of course, you haven't set the battery to pass energy out correctly or something. That's fine now. Is it? I'm still getting terrible frame rates. You sure you that's no, they're all, they're all flicking on and off. Uh, some of them are. You haven't done it right. I have. You've missed something. No, I haven't. No, no, come down here. <clears throat> all your autocrafters are blinking on and off. Oh. Well, half of them are. You missed a cable somewhere. No, I shouldn't have, because it's on here. Look, over here. These are, these are blinking on and off at the back. Yeah. I haven't no, missed no anything. It just needs more power. Um, It'll be better in a second. There we go, it's building back up. Yeah. Oh, it must be a priority thing, it's probably feeding energies elsewhere. It just had to fill buffers. Yeah, yeah. Because I'd be surprised if it's overdoing the uh, laser capacity. Because the whole thing was running off of these 640 RF per tick energy conduits yeah. anyway. Okay, at the moment, uh, we are going in 2000 RF a tick going up. Okay, that's good. We need to do a billion. Mm, that's more problematic. But we now know how much power we're taking in. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming this thing can be upgraded as well. How, so what capacity and how... Wow, look at that sparkling beam. It's like some Ertron. And more importantly, we currently have a... 40... Mega RF, so 
48 million RF uh, backlog of, in the battery. Okay, so possibly we can start dismantling your existing battery array. Uh, yeah. Well, that's really, that's what we need to necessarily, but well, yeah, because that would be more space to put lava generators in or whatever. Yes, true, actually. Yeah, they could all go at, th at this point, but no real worry at the moment. Uh, yeah. So, okay, we have a battery. Hey. That that went a lot easier than we I thought. We did a thing and it pretty much worked. Uh, yeah, and that's a good time to end the show. So. Join us next time when... All success of heroic proportions. Yes, try and do something a bit more dangerous, maybe. This can't kill us. So, see you next time. Ta-da!